We're going to learn how to edit thousands of data points with one operation and then let it go through each of the uh, data points on a list that we specify. So it's worth mentioning right now that this process does take a considerable amount of time on Bubble, especially if you have hundreds of thousands of data points or millions of data points. It will, it will take a very long time if you have millions of data points to edit at once. Uh, so I recommend if you are in the if you have more than several thousand data points and your data is already outside of Bubble, before you're going to bring that into Bubble, you should edit it in a program like Google Sheets or a program like Excel and then export it as a CSV. And that'll be another video that I'll, I'll give you guys an overview of how to do that, how to take a list and a spreadsheet and then bring it into of data and bring it into uh, to a uh, bubble. However, sometimes we're faced with certain problems in Bubble where we want to make a change that's not just like modifying a text field because spreadsheet, spreadsheets like Google Sheets and Excel are great if we have simple, um, more simple operations that we want to do to, to modify a specific text field. However, if we want to do something like our example uh, is we have then we're going to need a more complex operation where we're doing this in bubble. So let's talk about what this is exactly. So we the scenario that we have right here is that we have a list of sales reps. The sales reps, we have their first name and their last name, but we haven't we forgot to assign their territories. And there's gonna be multiple territories assigned to each of the reps. So in that case we're gonna have and the territories are also their own variable in bubble. So what that means is that we want to modify all of these users and then uh, assign them this the same territory because these are all the salespeople that belong to territories A, B, and C. And since each territory is a separate data point, uh, we need to basically add a list of territories to each of these users. So the fastest ways for us to do this is to first go into our bubble editor and you want to go to settings. You want to go over to API and where this section here says this app exposes a workflow API, check that box. Also to run this type of operation, you are going to need to be on the personal, at least the personal plan with bubble. Um, so let's clear that up right now. Going back to the workflow, then you want to go up to the top, actually to page. You want to go down to back end workflows because now you'll see this back end workflow section. And here we're going to write the workflow, and this is going to that's going to modify the data point for us. So, for example, we're going to say new API endpoint. We're going to call this endpoint. We're going to say um, update salesman. I'm going to add a new parameter. It's going to be called user type user click here to add an action we're going to say make changes to thing that thing is going to be user change another field and here's where we're going to go down to territories add list and here we're going to do do a search for and search for te territory there we go Search for territories. Okay, we're adding a list of sales. All the sales territory categories in our database are gonna be added to this particular user. And that's it, it's a simple operation for us. So that's what we wanna do. And that's all we need to do is that what we're doing in this section out of principle, just, just to further specify this, is we are uh, defining the change that we wanna make on every single user that we, we're gonna run this workflow for. Okay, so we've done that. We've defined the change that we wanna make. You can make other changes if you want as well. You can add more actions in here to change this, this type user. And that, that's a key point here is that if you wanna make more modifications, make sure you've created this key called user of type user and that you think the change is gonna be user. So you're gonna always be referring, referring to this, this uh, lowercase user that we created uh, throughout these workflows if you're doing other modifications. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go over to the database now, and this is where we can run our bulk operations. So uh, another thing that we wanna do is we want to make sure that we've defined who we want to execute these, uh, which data points do we want to change. So you can create a view, and you wanna do this in a view. So we're gonna go 
make sure you're in data and go over to app data as well. I mentioned that right now. So click on new view. We're going to call this salesman um, up, update salesman. Type of things user. And here's where we can add constraints. For us, we don't have any constraints because I'm going to apply all the users uh, here. So we could add a constraint here. We can say, as you can see, there's different options similar to how we do it before, like email is equal to da da da. The um, bio has this information. The, the same way that you modify, you add constraints in and filter things and other parts of bubble is how you're going to add constraints here to this this view so filter down your view and then um whoops i'm gonna do that one more time so accidentally salesman update okay so again we're going to say user so for, we're going to create this so we don't have any whoops oh yeah we need to specify fields to view so also we're going to specify the fields we're going to view is going to be email and username and their first name as well. Where is that first first name, last name? Click on create. Okay, cool. So we've got this data. Now we're going to click on mod on a bulk. So go on bulk, and this pop up lets you run an API workflow endpoint on all the entries of View Salesman Update. So what it's telling us is that we now select which operation that we want to run on all of these entries. And so what we're now doing is we specify the entry, which we called ours update salesman. And then it says this, um, it says be reminding us that this is going to permanently modify our data. For us, it's not a problem. Our data here is, is a test. It's, it's for learning purposes. So then we just select run workflow and it runs uh, the workflow on all of these entries. So again, we are all set. So we'll click on run workflow. And now it's it's going to run, and it's going to take a little bit of time to update, and hopefully it will go fairly quickly. We will see, and I will fast forward the video as well because this may take at least a few minutes. Uh, and that's just another point that we want to illustrate here is that with Bubble, it does take time to make bulk edits on a database. As you know, this is only seventy records that we're editing. If we were editing hundreds of thousands, you can imagine how long it may take to run. Thankfully, you can just shut your computer, put your computer on sleep mode, uh, keep the internet connection open, and it will do this automatically. So you, you only need to program this one time, of course. Okay, and we are all done. Bulk operation ran successful on 70 entries. Now let's test it out and make sure that, boom. Okay, excellent. So as you can see, our assigned territories are now appearing for all the users in the list. So congratulations, that's how to edit lots of records at once in Bubble. And now you have one more skill in your toolbox to do lots of awesome things. This example came up in a specific case. I'll give you guys one example of how I use this in a real scenario with a, with a real client. And uh, without disclosing the specific uh, confidential details, I'll just give an over brief overview. So essentially we had another, we had, were bringing data into Bubble and that data had creation dates. So like when the person, when a user signed up on the previous app, we're making a new app. And so we needed to bring that data into bubble. Now to bring in data into bubble, we have to bring it in as text. So we brought in all these date fields just as text. And then we're thinking, well, okay, well, we need to essentially take these thousands of these thousands of text data points and convert those into, uh, type of data that's actually a date that we can actually put on a calendar and bubble if, for example with the bubble calendar and it can show us different things or we can look at graphs and things like that with those dates so in order to do that we used this plugin um, and it was a data converter so we converted the data in this in the back end workflow so actually i'll go to the back back end workflow here so we created a data point and it would basically uh, we modified the data in there and uh, then we followed the same process like we just did where we ran, we created the filtered list, which was basically everyone that we wanted to modify that data for. And then we ran that operation and it, it gave us the converted dates, which is very useful. So once again, uh, congratulations guys, you learned a new skill today. I strongly encourage you to check out our website at newagedevelopment.bubbleapps.io. The link will be down below this video. 
and create an account on our website. You can access our private forum where we regularly visit to answer questions about bubble development to help you get unstuck if you get stuck and you have a bug in your website, your app, or if you're looking for advice on getting clients as a web developer, we also talk about that. Uh, anything related to bubble development, you'll find in there. And the goal of this website is to turn you into an expert uh, and give you the tools that you need and the skills to be able to build any kind of website or application that you want uh, online and uh, be able to, you can unleash your creativity online. That's our goal. So definitely wanna see you there. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. See you in the next video, guys.